G'day everybody, where's Swally here? Well, it's time for part two of the ISS Star Trails. Now, Anthony, Sleeping Warrior, he thinks he's got it sorted. He thinks it's all fake. He thinks it's all made up just to trick us and deceive us. Mm, he can't prove the trails claimed are any different to the ones that are shown on the screen though. They look identical to Earth-based ones. Unless he proves difference, they are Earth-based ones. Hmm, I think he means different. I've I got news for you, Anthony. And yes, I can prove it, mate. Oh, well, you've got my attention, Wally, and let's see what you can do, hey? Hmm, explain that, matey. Now, Anthony, a star trail has a lot of information in it. Now, if you understand what you're looking at, then it's really easy to tell them apart. Here is a proper north-facing one, and here is a proper south-facing one. And here is the one that we're looking at. It's a 50-degree facing one. And as you can see here, Anthony, I can see three stars on the ISS Star Trail one, but where on the southern facing Star Trail are those? If you're saying that these things are the same, it's like looking at two fingerprints and saying that they're the same because, well, they've all got a lot of squiggly lines on them both. Don't you reckon? Hmm, explain that, matey. Well, we know where the images were taken, and the initial ones used were captured when the ISS was over Zambia, and it was at 16 degrees south, and Polaris is not at all visible from that location. And the last image was taken when it was over Kenya. Ursa Minor was only just visible, so even though the ISS center of rotation is visible, the North Star is not. So now what I did, that flatties really do, is go right back to the source images. If I went back any further, I'd be on the ISS in the cupola taking photos like Don Pettit. Now I downloaded almost 600 images, these are all 2 or 3 megabytes each. A lot of download. The original one that Simon and Dan showed only had about 200. And this is what I got. Now what does that show you, Tony? Hmm, that's the thing that proves the Earth is turning. This is a video of the star trails being generated. The uh, bright trail is Polaris, and it became visible suddenly as the ISS crossed into the Northern Hemisphere from the Southern Hemisphere. And for those who still have doubts, there is a link in the description to a video made from all the same images, so have a look at that if you wish. Here is the image where I tagged Polaris, and this is the Stellarium screen cap to the same time, date, lat longs. And finally, this is the end product of all 594 images from 5407 to 6000. That is really pretty. So, Anthony Riley, what do you say now? That's the thing that proves the Earth is turning. So now, Anthony, to wrap this all up, I just want to show you a simulation. Now, this is cartoon graphics, by the way. This is a cartoon graphics simulation that Wolfie ran on one of his many software packages, and it shows the ISS doing these barrel rolls, loop-de-loops, around the Earth. Now he sped it up to make it go much, much faster, so he does a full rotation of the Earth in a few seconds. And this is so very interesting, because you can see that the center of rotation doesn't disappear no matter where you are around the globe. So what would you call that? That's the thing that proves the Earth is turning. So Anthony, I think you're going to have to stop trusting Mitchell. He's led you up the garden path again. Like all flatties, you've made the common mistake of not doing your research. Which is so ironic, because you keep saying, do your research. Anthony, can you please tell Mitchell that he's wrong again, and that Dan and I are waiting for his apology? And this is the end of Mitchell from Australia. Wow!